in western Ukraine, I visited the cultural city of Lviv, which had so far been almost untouched by the crisis. It was here I found a medical center that specializes in rehabilitation for soldiers who have been severely wounded in the conflict. As I had previously visited a first aid center in Kyiv built to help prepare people for battle injuries, I also wanted to see this center, which treated those already wounded. We don't want to see people with wounds. We are okay to see people with scars because you can live with scars. You can't live with the wounds. Olga Roniva is the CEO of this center. She tells me that they intend to provide psychological support, a prosthesis department, reconstructive surgery, and rehabilitation for injured soldiers and civilians. Although the center is still under construction, they have already aided some 100 people by cooperating with local hospitals. And Vitaly is one of them. Vitaly will need a physical prosthetic to help him recover. But for people like him, rehabilitation means more than just physical help. You also provide you know, psychological help? Of course, yeah. of course, because it's uh, in some cases it's most important even uh, than prosthesis before because uh, when we had uh, problematic psychological uh, psychologic in the human, he don't want to make prosthesis. He uh, won't just be in his apartment and don't speak with anything. Uh, with uh, uh, anyone. The rehabilitation center is located in the countryside of a UNESCO city called Lviv, which is recognized as the country's cultural capital. The Austro-Hungarian style architecture there is quite different from what I saw in Kyiv. Roaming around the old town, you may encounter the century-old electric tram, visit dozens of coffee shops, and enjoy the charm of history by visiting different museums around the city. How do you introduce your city to people who, are, who have never been here? So we are trying to be helpful to everyone who, is, who comes here. Yuliana Melnik works in a local hotel. Over the past year, tourism has been hit hard by the ongoing conflict. She says her biggest dream is for the conflict to end so that people can tour around Lviv instead of fleeing here to seek refuge. This is probably the shared wish for everyone here, including Rostislav, who come to Lviv to be with his girlfriend and has been staying here for three years. I wanted to do it more than before. I planned to go to countries. In this beautiful city, the conflict seems far from many people. But for those in the rehabilitation center who have been wounded, or who want to help the wounded, it is very close and personal. They are looking forward to the new center opening in April, including Vitaly. In this city, one of the least touched by the conflict, people are reaching out to help others. Olga says she wants to see the new center built quickly so that people can quickly receive rehabilitation. I'm also looking forward to the day when the tables are turned, when wounded soldiers can become healed and people like Vitaly can pass on this curing practice as a psychologist and help others get better.